All right, let's go right to our panel, talk about this whole story. Joining us now, Democratic strategist John Halinko and Steve Moore, the Wall Street Journal editorial board, author of Return to Prosperity. So, Steve Moore, I love this. Harry Reid today wants to turn an across-the-board spending cut into a tax hike. You have a thought on that? Well, it's very hard for the Democrats and President Obama to make the case against the sequester, Larry, because guess whose idea it was? It was, it was Barack Obama's idea in the first place to have this sequester. Now Democrats are sprinting from it. And the reason they're sprinting from it, Larry, is because Democrats thought Republicans wouldn't be able to swallow the, spe the defense cuts. But you know what? Republicans have basically come to the conclusion, you just heard John Thood say it, this may not be the best way to cut government spending, but it's the only way to cut government spending. And this idea that we're going to we're going to transfer we're going to get rid of the sequester and raise taxes i mean my goodness if any single republican voted for that i you know i would want them extracted from the republican party it's exactly the opposite of what we want and we just had you know the biggest tax increase in history a few weeks ago John Halenko, what is president obama's position going to be is he going to team up with harry reed and try to break these automatic spending cuts and turn this into a tax hike bill is that the way this is going to be played no spending cuts just more tax Taxes. Well, I mean, what we need to do is focus on the long-term deficit. I mean, I would agree, and you raised a good point about the need to uh, help consumer confidence and business confidence. I think if Congress could get together and come up with a deal to eliminate the deficit, let's say, in five to seven years, that would be great. But cutting, uh, you know, a massive, massive cut in spending, and for that matter, a tax hike, at a time when the, the economy is still very, very soft, is, is a bad idea. But, John, you've got a month. There's basically a month, okay? March 1st is the deadline. Five-twelfths of the fiscal year is already over by March 1st. That takes $24 billion out of the equation. So what this really is, in a $3.8 trillion budget, you're going to talk, I don't know what the actual math is, I'm going to say $55 billion, of which nearly all of that is just going to be slower growth in spending. Mm -hmm. If well, we I mean, can't do that, John, we can't do anything. Well, if I mean, we spending, can't cut that, then we deserve to be called grease. I mean, spending cuts always sounds good in the abstract, but remember, what we're doing here is some, that spending is somebody else's income. And That's at the a problem. time of the economy, <laughs> well, hey, no, look, I mean, That's I'm all for, for long-term Everybody's cutting. on the dole in this country. we got to start cutting these programs. And by the way, we just gave $60 billion out in this absurd uh, Sandy Hurricane relief bill. $40 billion of it was pork, Larry. So the net cut here is almost zero. Well, you, you know, that sounds good on paper. But remember, the economy is still very soft. And we can all agree we want faster growth, right? right? I mean, that's the best way to get to grow yeah, our way out of the deficit. Cutting spending is good for the economy. How is cutting, cutting spending... spending is if How you can currently reduce tax, well, if you cut spending and you don't yeah. reduce taxes, what you're doing is you're sucking demand out of the economy. Well, I mean, that, know, that's here's the problem, John, with your analysis on this, though. You said that we've got to cut the long-term deficit, and then uh, you know, Mary Landrieu said on the, the on the Senate floor today we shouldn't cut these discretionary programs. The entitlements are the problem. Well, man, wait a minute. Who gave us Obamacare, the biggest new entitlement program we've ever had? Every time, even even these bipartisan panels have come forward with uh, entitlement. Reforms. John, it's been Barack Obama, it's been Nancy Pelosi, and Harry Reid. Yeah, Reed. but you it's hear the Republicans on this very show backing away from military cuts. I mean, they're I forget not backing the away. Point. They're, they're just, Senator Thune just sequester. backed away from it. He said they're going to try and replace some of it with cuts elsewhere. I mean, both sides are backing off. They need if to they put monkey on with that bill, I'll, I'll say, John, what I said, Senator Thune. If they monkey with that bill, the whole bill is going to collapse. Right. They shouldn't. The, I agree. The hit to the defense budget, and by the way, it's all national security, including homeland security, is not going to be that great. It's a reduction in the rate of increase, and you're looking at only, uh, let's see, seven twelfths of one year, because five months will have already. Passed. I don't believe it. I, I, I think the question here is: there's never a good time That's to cut exactly spending. Exactly right. That, I mean, I've been around fighting these battles for more than three decades, and I started with Reagan. There's like never a good time. And there's always, always a reason not to, to cut spending. And I'm tired of it. There's always a reason not to cut spending. And at some point, yeah. we are going to be like Greece. We are going to all be like Illinois, if in California, if we don't find some time to slow the growth exactly and actually right. take. 
Listen, do it next time. Programs out. Out. Not take the programs out. Do it in the next five years. Set a real time. No, no, plan. do it now. Don't it. wait five years. Yes, do, no, it do it now. But don't have the cuts take, to, to take that, place right now. That's the whole but problem. You know, the it's always soft. manana. It's John, always manana. And also, this was the argument that was made in the 1990s. We couldn't cut spending. And Bill Clinton, a Democratic president, Newt Gingrich cut the spending. We had the biggest boom in the economy we've had and in And we also years. had a tax increase that helped close the deficit. But it remember, was, at that point, long-term interest rates were high. Now they're very, very low. Cutting, cutting the deficit long term is not going to drive down long term interest rates anymore. I'd say it. Lower spending is good for growth. That's there the issue. Go. But I understand. I, there's a big disagreement here. If this thing turns out to be another tax hike bill, it, we're just going to pack it in. Exactly. Gonna, anyway, John Hillinko, thank up. you. Thank you very much, Steve Moore. Thank, thank you very you. much. Now